Before the break, we asked you guys what you get when you combine a dinosaur that could weigh up to seven tons and a loudmouth football coach everyone loves. Uh, uh, would that be uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex Ryan? That would be right. Yeah. Well done, buddy boy. I'm the smartest man alive. Not really. Uh, let's let's relax. Uh, let's uh, let's throw a little hypothetical. Oh, 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 Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> that guy. Where was he? Ooh. All right. Can you imagine if Tyrannosaurus <laughs> Rex Ryan and Tom Coughlin are both gone this offseason and Rex joins the Giants? Do you think this could work? Uh, I love the, by the way, great usage of our pal. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Bruce Jenner, yeah. Steve. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no more Adam's apple. Yeah. Well, I think it sounds crazy, right? <laughs> right. I guess it is crazy. Rex Ryan coaching the Giants. Well, that's why it's a hypothetical. But, but realistically, think about it. They got a good receiving core with Beckham Jr., Victor Cruz, Eli Manning's in place. There's obviously offensive line problemos. Right. But patch that up with some draft picks, a couple moves around. The defense is one of the big problems. You get a guy like Rex Ryan in there, he might be a decent fit to coach the New York Giants. I agree. The and New York media loves him. I think it would be hilarious. Just the media, the people love him, you know? I, they aren't sick of him yet. For whatever reason, he's sticking around. And people seem to identify with Rex Ryan. He's, he's good for New York. He's likable in New York. Not winning in New York, but likable for sure. Look at him. Look at him. I mean, where Look at that guy. Running the Bulls. I mean, Look at this guy. Every, uh, t laying on the, the, the beach with tattoos of he, Sanchez he, on his he arm. He should have been running out of town a long time ago. But because he's so likable and people identify with him, yeah. he's here in New York. And by the way, what a change from Tom Coughlin. Right. For the Giants. That might be the shakeup that they need. Yeah, I, I don't know about that, but All it's right. a fun thought, right? Another hype o Hype it up! <laughs> At what age is it no longer appropriate to celebrate your birthday? I know you have a major problem with this. Well, I'll get you go overboard. And by the way, happy overboard. birthday. I just celebrate my birthday like a teenage girl. <laughs> happy birthday to our buddy, Romney Malco, who you saw a second ago. It's his birthday. Also, for all the Red Sox haters and lovers, Big Poppy turns 38 today. Big Poppy, I could be him! I could be him! Gonna see a little more gray in that beard in the upcoming no, years. No, no, no. His is precise. But I think, all right, there's, there's Marquee birthdays, right? Marquee Grissom? I referenced that's your same bad joke twice, everybody. <laughs> all right, uh, Yo. 18. Thank Good you. job. Well done, well done, oh, brother. Thank you. Thank 18, you. 21. Then I think you can go 25. And then after that, it's 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Why? Why are you now, all the other birthdays, all the other birthdays, you could go out for drinks or a dinner. But I'm talking birth, like parties and like mm. making a big deal. You mean yeah, I you can't make a big deal about your 28th birthday. I should you can't have make a big uh, deal about your 36th birthday. I should have my birthday throwdown this year, is what you're no, saying? No, Chuck E. Cheese invites you to come back. <laughs> no birthday throwdown. But I still got all the tokens from last year's birthday. Yeah. What? You're a skee-ball champ. Come on. Hey, man. Spot. Yeah. Spot, do you remember when we first met Camino? He would have a birthday party every year. Wasn't it called, like, the jump-off? Yeah, one year he called it the jump-off. It was the Camino birthday jump-off. And he that had it at Jay-Z's 4040 Club. That's right, because I'm um, And then he did like the jump-off, too. Yeah. Year, and I drank like this with my chalice that says pimp on it. <laughs> and you know, it's funny. You're saying people should have birthdays. You still remember it all these years later. Because uh, there was all hot chicks there. And you probably reaped the benefits of my party. Of your jump off. Yeah, exactly. All right. Thanks, pimp. <laughs>